Well, hello loves. I wanted to pop in and just do a quick little video on lots of different things. But the first thing I want to say is thank you so very much for the beautiful um, support comments you showed me from my uh, last post and it just really, really meant the world to me and you are just such kind and beautiful people. And honestly, some of the messages I received were um, just phenomenal and really helped lift me. And, uh, and it's just so nice to have people who can relate. And uh, yeah, and it's just been so good to have about a month now off social media pretty much, just popping in every now and then. Yeah, so I had decided to take a break from Styling Tan because I just feel that it was overwhelming me. And I'm very, very busy with my regular work and it was just getting a little bit too much and it was all probably more about the pressure I was putting on myself so it's been really great to have a break but I've missed you so much and I've missed styling so much and uh, having said that though I am going to be shifting things for next year I'm going to take a little bit of a different direction and incorporate not just styling but other things that I love because I just found that with styling and with my work I was neglecting so many other parts of my life maybe you can relate um, including my house, my family, my friends, that kind of thing, my fitness, my health. Anyway, so today's video is just going to be a little bit of fashion, a little bit of homewares, a little bit of show and tell, and uh, I couldn't resist popping back before Christmas because I just wanted to wish you a very, very merry one as well if you celebrate it. So let's start with the outfit, of course, how could we not? Um, I'm actually one week off the hairdresser, <laughs> so I've had to scrape my hair back into this pretty little ponytail, which is kind of a but it's in a pretty bad way and I desperately need to see Christy so that's happening next Monday so it's coming soon but the outfit this is a Zara it's a limited edition I have not worn it yet and I think because it was winter when I bought it or just the start of winter and then suddenly it's got warm <laughs> and I've gone holy crap I haven't worn this thing and I've been dying to wear it it's actually very warm today but I got out really early and I thought well look it's got holes in it the breeze will come through so all I've done is belted it in and I've put just a very simple satin slip dress underneath and I've tried to close it up as much as possible. It's kind of unlike me to put black with things like this, as you probably well know. But the reason I wanted to was because of my darling new um, baby, my new arrival. <laughs> and I wanted to have, because it's just so much black, I wanted to have little pops of black along the way. I would have preferred a boot with this, but it was just too warm. So I put on this sensational sling back, which I love with. And so comfortable. And then over the top, a bag that just melts into the dress because I wanted the dress and the bag to shine. Simple gold here, gold here, nothing needed around the neck. And then, of course, some Jackie O style sunglasses to complete the look, sweetie darling. Now, speaking of completing the look, there was also a little top that came with this. See how lovely? So you can actually put it on underneath and then wear it open and then presumably something on the bottom as well, <laughs> if you're that way inclined. So uh, I'm gonna experiment with that over summer. It might even be my Christmas day outfit. And then I also wanted to show you um, my latest Trini, <laughs> Trini London acquisitions. Um, I don't know if you use her makeup, I love it, but one thing I've found is that it tends to go, mm. it tends to go cooler, even for warmer shades that I've bought that I thought would be warm, end up really cool. I don't know whether it's just my skin, if you've had the same issue, but I decided to get Queen because it's really quite bronzy, but again, it comes on my eye quite, um, oh. like more like the colour that's in shadow there. Can you see when it shines in the light, it's got that lovely luminosity. I mean, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's just that that part of the coloring tends to show up more on my eye. I know when I move it will change and whatever, but I don't know, it just, see, it just looks really cool. It does not look warm. And same with many of the other colors. I also got Chariot, which is meant to be, uh, to have some kind of greenish color in it. And I'm just not finding that there's much green in it. I mean, barely. Um, and again, very, very cool. And then Persephone, this is the new shimmer range. I've got another one of these. I think it was Hakate. And this is meant to be blue. And it certainly is, but when you actually rub it onto your skin, it goes on like this brownish color. Can you see that? And then the little flecks of blue on the top. 
So, I mean, look, I'm going to have to play with an experiment. It's just that everything seems to be very cool and um, I just like something a bit warmer. Um, that's something that will just warm up my skin tone and, and not sort of make me look like I'm, you know, dying. <laughs> and then um, this morning I actually went shopping. I went to our Canberra Outlet Centre and I was looking for some homeware stuff. I wanted to ask you, do you have periods in your life where you tend to focus on the home more? I've neglected it because of my work and I've always been a real home decorator, but I have seriously neglected it over the last five years and especially the last two. And I've suddenly looked around and everything's really in a bad way. <laughs> and I think the best way to enliven a new space is with throws and new cushions. And we have had our cushions and our throws for a very, very long time. And it was just time to update. Also bed linen and just a few, I like soft furnishings and plants. So I have a few more bits and pieces coming for plants. I bought some more baskets um, and uh, planters, really nice planters. Some from Mark Tucky, some from Kmart, you know, really, really real variety in cost and style. And I think they make all the difference. So um, I'm looking forward to putting them around the house. But I wanted to show you what I got today. First of all, I went into um, Adair's and I actually ordered some stuff online, but it's, I don't know if it's going to be here for Christmas. The post is insanely bad, like really bad. And I ordered it weeks ago and it's still not here. Maybe next week, we'll see. Uh, but I could not risk it and I needed some new sheets. So I've ordered another in this style. It's sort of like a really gorgeous retro, uh, warm, floral, 70s pattern. It's divine. But I saw this one as well and I love the pinkish hue and the palm tree. I try to have a fairly neutral bedroom, but occasionally I like a little bit of floral, like maybe a black and white floral or something like that. It's going to have a white, beautiful textured mat, let's say doing a cover with that and then I found this which I thought would be great for Christmas and it's a beautiful runner how beautiful I have a nature theme for Christmas I have for the past four or five years you can see behind me and I I might put a few photos at the end of this video so you can see some of my decorations but I'm going more simple and simple each year and I love the greenery and the textures and the rattans and the shimmer and the glass and the whites and so this is what I'm going to be having on the table with lots of pops of green and crystal and um, white. It'll be just beautiful. The other thing I also bought recently, I lost my other pair, was a pair of um, Baxter Blue reading glasses and I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I actually think the pink is delicious. But these are blue light as well and uh, the other pair I have are sensational but I accidentally ordered too large and they um, just kept falling off my head when I'd look down. You know, these ones are fine but they're so worth getting and they just make you sleep better. They really do. Uh, also from uh, Adair's, I got a throw rug. I've been really lax with dressing my bed and making it look really luxe and lush. And I want to reconnect with that. And one great way is to have a throw along the bottom of the bed. And I just thought this was absolutely divine. It has the most gorgeous colouring. It's like an orchidy pink with mustard colours and it's just beautiful, the little tassels on the end. And that was on sale, so that's going to be going on the bed after I make it with these sheets. I've got to put them in the wash. Then I've been eyeing this off forever, this Mark Tucky style bowl. But how gorgeous is it that we can put bits and pieces in and make it look really pretty? And I might have to put baubles in that, of course. And then I also went to Provincial Home Living, which I just love. I've been wanting to get some more cushions, as I was saying, because I realised something. I bought a bunch of cushions from Kmart, which are fantastic. You might have seen my other video. Let me just show you a couple. This kind. These are sensational. They were like $12. Beautiful. And then... They tend to come in this size mostly and then sometimes this size, but I tended to get a lot of these because the patterning was sensational. And then I realised that they just weren't working on my couch, not because of what they were, but I realised that it was just because of the sizing, they were all the same size. And of course the golden rule is you don't have pillows all the same size. So you need to have large, medium, small, bolster, rectangular, you know, round, all that kind of thing. And I was just, I was just forgetting that. And I was just thinking, why isn't this working? Why won't it work? And then I realised, oh crap, I just need some bigger pillows. So I'm starting to collect, but I'm only getting what I absolutely love and it's hard to find what I absolutely love. So this is what I got. And also all of my pillows have to have feather. It's very rare that I don't have uh, feather in my pillows. 
I just think that lasts a lot longer. They're much more luxe. They're much more comfortable. Uh, so this one, both from Provincial Home Living. This one I love because, look at this, look at this fabric. And the beautiful leather trim here on the zip. And I love that it's reversible. And it's a really beautiful, decent size. And the feathering is really plump. And on that note, one tip that I have about feathering is that when your feathers do start to lose their puff, even if you've washed and fluffed them and, and put them in the sun, what I do maybe every five years or so is I buy an extra batch of inserts from Ikea, just feather pillows. I undo them, I carefully undo the um, inserts inside the pillows and I add feathers to it. It can be a little bit messy, so do it outside and wear a mask because <laughs> you can inhale stuff. But it's really worth doing it. It's a bit fiddly, but you end up with a much plumper pillow and then you don't have to go and invest in a new one and you're saving from landfill and all that kind of thing. And then this other one I bought, again, just so scrumptious. It does have a plain white back, but I don't mind that. Sometimes it's nice to put something plain amongst patterning. But I just thought this was the most beautiful design. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a little bit Marrakesh. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just obsessed with that. And I'll keep looking and I'll show you what else that I, I can find down the track. I don't know about you, but every Christmas my tea towels suddenly I go, oh, God, they're just disgusting. <laughs> I need to throw them all out. So it's generally a Christmas thing. And I just got, I adore the Provincial Home Living ones because they're large. They're, they're really great quality. They're woven, you know. They, they're very absorbent. They're chic. I absolutely love them and they do last a long time. So I got three. I think you can get three for 25. I think you save six or seven dollars. I also found these. Now these are chair pads and the reason I was excited was because I did a bit of an Ikea haul and I got these chairs which I absolutely adore and I've been eyeing them off for a while and poor Canberra misses out on so much and they were out of stock forever. Finally, I found them and I was over the moon and I uh, did an online order and my husband picked them up and I put them in my basket and I bought them and when my husband picked them up, um, they said there was none left. <laughs> I was like, oh God, and I'm going to need these because my sister and brother-in-law are coming with their little pug for Christmas, so I needed chair pads. So I saw these and they're only 25 each, removable cover, love the black. I'm denied about white and black, but what I love about the black is that it's not going to show up when someone drops a little bit of their, you know, espresso martini on it. And I just think that's really chic. It's really modern. And the chair is actually really comfortable, but that just adds a little bit of extra squish to it, which is just perfect. I'm going to need coffee <laughs> and to unpack all this and start arranging it around. And uh, yeah, it was lovely to chat and lovely to be back. So I've actually recorded quite a few videos when I've left, left the house just in case, just like quick outfits of the day. I'll probably leave them to the new year, uh, but I may post again before Christmas. But anyway, this is just my opportunity to send you my love and say hello and say I hope you're doing really, really well and that you've got a gorgeous festive season planned. And um, part of my new way with Styling Town is to just do what I want, when I want, how I want and not feel any pressure and um, I really hope you can be here to have some fun with me. Okay. Lots of love to you.